Hi guys, so today we'll bring you the story of a guy who was killed by his wife's lesbian partner. Yeah, this guy was killed by his wife's lesbian partner. So the guy goes by the name Ikechuku Onuma, also known as Ayaya Onye Obodo. And he's been married to his wife, he came to lead. they both lived at the inland um, town in Onicha, Anambra State. So on Monday the 8th of August at about 9.20pm, Ikechu was said to have returned to his home but unannounced. And that single act led him to a shocking discovery. So when he got into his house unannounced, he found his wife Ikemdili in bed with her friend Ebele Onoche. And you'll be wondering, so? They weren't just in bed, they were in bed making love. So Ikechuku was shocked to his bones, as you would imagine. Because the guy had no prior knowledge that his wife was bisexual. He never knew she was a lesbian. So you can imagine the shock. And when he discovered that, there was an altercation between him, his wife, and the wife's lesbian partner. So Ebele, the wife's lesbian partner in the process, picked a kitchen knife and stabbed Ike Chuku on the chest. She stabbed the husband of her lesbian partner right on the chest. And I'm wondering why did she reach out for his chest? Was she aiming to kill him? If that was her aim, well, she succeeded because well, she, she succeeded because Ike Chuku was rushed to the hospital. Sadly, he didn't make it. He died in the hospital. But that wasn't before he told his story as to what he had discovered in his home between his wife Ikemdili and her friend Ebele Onochi. We understand the police have made arrests and they have a, the suspect in their custody. But in Kendali is said to be on the run. At the time of putting the story together, we have no contrary reports. But we would be sure to update you if any further report comes up. In the meantime, we call on the police to get to the root of this matter and ensure that justice is served to Ike Chuku, his family, and the society at large. He deserves justice. The society deserves justice on this matter. I mean, that man didn't have to die. And Kem Dili have questions to answer herself. I mean, even though she wasn't the one who stabbed her husband to death, but she was in the situation. And that even aside, don't we have laws against homosexuality or gays, what's it called now, in Nigeria? So, we trust the police to get to the root of the matter and ensure that justice is truly, 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 truly served. In the meantime, guys, be a good citizen. Take care of yourself, take care of your emotions, take care of your mental health. Be kind to yourself, be kind to the people around you, and always be a good citizen. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like it, share it, and do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I remain Dr. Sige Olu and I love you all.